Hi, I'm out today. I have my coffee for happiness and I have my phone so I know what the heck I'm talking about. Today I wanted to talk with you a little bit about a new filter that I got. I finally went and purchased a Moment Cinebloom Diffusion filter. I got the 20% one. There's like a five, a 10, and a 20. And I got the 72 millimeter size for the filter thread. It really is about time that I bought one of these filters. I've had my eye on them for a while. They really make sense for me. I am somebody who loves taking the digital edge off of my photos, jet ski. This is a welcome addition and it creates some really fun effects. All of the photos and most of the footage you will see in this video was created using said filter and I'm actually filming with the filter right now. I wanna talk about a couple of um, photo excursions I went on with the filter. Then I'm going to share some impressions with you, uh, how I feel about it. But before we get going on that, I do wanna thank Musicbed for supporting this channel and this video. Musicbed, it's an excellent place to find excellent music from excellent artists to include in your videos if you make videos. But if you don't make videos, you can also listen to the music as well. And there's quite a, a lovely library of music to be productive to. More information and my code below. Thank you so much, Musicbed. Okay, so I was in downtown Miami for a CrossFit event. I was filming for, for a project for a company that me and my wife work with. And after that event, I decided I would go on a photo walk with the filter. I started off in a rather interesting outdoor mall and uh, took some, some photos of parrots and people interacting with parrots. I think the, there was a parrot trying to bite a guy's finger off. Then I quickly moved away from the mall. Oh, I should also mention that it was a rather gloomy day. I then moved away from the mall, which was on the bay, into the city towards a, a train monorail type of experience that runs through Miami and grabs some shots. I then made my way over, oh, that's an interesting boat. I then made my way over to, uh, towards the bay and passed by a hotel which all the CrossFit people were staying at. And the ground was very slippery and I almost fell. I will come back to why that's important shortly. Made my way over to the bay and it was cold and windy. Then I made my way over to the busiest Whole Foods ever for some nutrients. Cause you know what happens when you don't have nutrients? You die. It's very hot and there's no reason I should be wearing this beanie. I then wandered around and found a very interesting do not enter sign in front of a parking garage. Grabbed a couple of different angles of that. And then I found a balloon. Then I moved back to the train, same area as before, and switched over to my 70 to 200 for a little bit. And the filter fits on that one as well. So this lens, which is the 16 to 35, has a 72 millimeter filter thread. And then the 70 to 2, I'm getting all the millimeters mixed up. My 70 to 200 millimeter lens has a 72 millimeter filter thread as well. So that's fantastic. So anyway, I grabbed a few photos. How you doing? I am good, how are you? Good, you getting some good photos? Sorry? You getting some good photos? Um, not, not, not a good time for... Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, good luck. Okay, thank you. He needs a diffuser filter. Okay, so remember a second ago when I almost slipped and fell at the in front of the hotel. Well, I came back through because I noticed that there was an ambulance coming towards me and then eventually going towards the hotel. Well, I go to the hotel to see what's going on with the ambulance and I see a, a man laying down in a puddle of blood uh, and a bunch of people standing around and there were a couple of scooters as well. <laughs> <laughs> so from what I gathered, he was doing something on one of these scooters and 
he slipped and fell. I'm wondering if he fell and hit a little manhole cover that was sitting right there and scraped his leg up really hard. There was another guy that told me that he thought there was a compound fracture. The reason why I think it probably wasn't a compound fracture is because there was no splint on the leg when they put him in the ambulance. They didn't really try to stabilize the leg at all. It was just kind of there. So I think he just gashed it really good. Hi. So, you know, there are a couple of morals of this story. One, be careful. Two, that hotel needs to replace the floors because I have, you know, I have good balance and I'm, I'm, a, I'm not a crazy walker. I'm not like a reckless. <laughs> um, I slipped twice on that floor. So whenever it rains there, uh, that floor is very dangerous and they need to fix that. Maybe put down like a shag carpet or something. That, that'll work. So then I took one of those reflection flippy upside downy shots. I think it actually turned out pretty nice. It kind of slaps. I then moved onto a big bridge that takes you out to the, the port of Miami, I think is what it's called. I then grabbed a couple of shots there. Then I moved back into the city, grabbed a few more shots, and that concluded my Miami photo walk. I went home. Jet ski. Also, before I went to Miami, I went on a couple of other photo excursions. I went on a short one at night. This filter uh, is really useful at night. You get some really fun effects and the way that it diffuses the light and such. So I grabbed a couple of shots there. Then I visited the beach with my wife and my new baby and grabbed some photos there, including a couple of portraits of them. While I was there, I also splashed the filter with seawater, the brand new filter, seawater. I thought it was pretty fun. And then I met a new friend. What the heck? What the heck? He was coming towards me a second ago. Wow. I've never seen one just wandering around the open like that. Wow. Seeing all sorts of critters today. Oh, he got himself a good fish over there. <laughs> they got everybody celebrating. <laughs> And then I also went out another time and explored a, a more industrial side of town uh, with car shops and such. And there were a lot of, I think, I think it was Land Rovers, Land or Range Ro Rovers, a lot of Land or Range Rover repair shops. I don't know, grab some photos there. And then finally, there's a Whole Foods that I like to go to, and it has a parking garage. And in that parking garage, on the wall, it says welcome. And uh, there happened to be a, a shopping cart in front of that welcome wall. And so I took a photo of that as well. And you can see the light diffused, and yeah, it turned out, you know, kind of fun. And then that's all the photos that I took with this filter, and that's all the photos I will ever take with this filter. I'm gonna throw it in the water immediately after this video. Lots of jet skis today. <laughs> okay, now I will share some impressions, how I feel about this filter. First of all, it, it looks great. It diffuses with excellence. And you may be wondering, why did I get the 20%? I felt like if I did not go all the way that I would feel like I was missing out. I felt like I needed to go, I felt like I needed to get maximum diffusion. Now, I, I'm not sure if I would have felt that way if it was like 60 or 70%, there may have been a limit, but uh, yeah, 20. So this filter creates interesting and useful effects in a lot of different situations. So midday, when the light is harsh, the sun is out, it softens the light up a bit, I find, and, and I love that. I, I love that it, that it helps me out a little bit with um, one of the, you know, one of the struggles forevermore of photography, which is harsh light. And it also works well in situations that are normally quite challenging for cameras, such as low light situations and nighttime situations. It once again kind of softens the light as well as, of course, diffuses the light. But overall, it tends to create this really buttery look and it will, it will aid you in creating a, a film quality for your digital photos. It does a great job at that. It has a very nice build quality. It looks awesome with its red color on the front of my camera and lens. Taking it off of one lens and putting it onto another can be 
a bit irksome. So if you're switching lenses a lot, might behoove you to get two of them or three of them, or however many lenses you want to put it on um, if you can. But those are my thoughts for now. This thing is a lot of fun to shoot with and if you're into what this this filter does then I would of course encourage you to pick one up. Um, it, can, it might spice up your creativity. But I'm curious what do you guys think of these filters? Are they practical for your photos? Why or why not? Now, very quickly before I go, I wanna show you something interesting that happened while I was setting up for this video earlier. Uh, two boats collided. Unfortunately, my camera was not pointing at the boats when they hit, but I, I quickly flung it over. Testing one, two, loud boats, loud boats, test, test. I think I'm in the shot there. Might be a little low though. Might be a little low. Oh. Oh, he just, they just nailed that boat. Wow. Oh my gosh. I saw them over there and I was like, that, they might cause some problems. Did you get any pictures, any shots of it? No, I, I was, it was pointing that way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you were like, just having a point exactly. No, no, yeah, I wish I was, I really do. But I was pointing that way, setting up a shot, and then I heard them hit and I, flung it over there. You got, you got the whole canal. You don't have, I mean, yeah. how do you hit the boat? <laughs> that was loud. Oh, glad nobody hurt their neck. All right, he's doing the right thing. He's, he's giving him the number. He's kind of like working with him. I think they're gonna talk later. Yeah, he said he's sorry. How do you have all of this water and hit that boat? That is unbelievable. Moral of the story, don't hit another person in a boat when you're also in a boat. If you enjoyed this video, if you want to hit the like button and or the subscribe button, that would mean a lot. I would greatly appreciate that. But um, I hope this video was helpful to you. I appreciate you guys. Um, God bless. Have a good day. Goodbye. We're done here.